Welcome back to another episode of Max Baseball. Happy Father's Day to everybody. This is video number three of three for today. And today I'm giving my thoughts and opinions on my favorite player from every team in the National League Central Division. So let's get into it. I've got some of my favorite players all time on here. Got some Indians players, but obviously they're not on the Indians no more. So yeah, let's get into it. So my favorite player on the Chicago Cubs is going to be a former Cleveland Indians player, second baseman slash center fielder, mainly second baseman, by the name of Jason Kipnis. He is 33, born on April 3rd, 1987, in Northbrook, Illinois, so that is near Chicago. Um, and he's played for the Indians since 2011, making his debut on July 22nd, 2011. And obviously, he was he's been my favorite player. He's my favorite player all time. I don't know why. I like him. He's now he's number twenty seven. He used to be number twenty two. Um, so yeah. Jason Kipnis, my favorite player on the Chicago Cubs. Some stats for you. He has a two sixty one career average, one hundred and twenty three career home runs, five hundred and twenty nine career RBIs, and one hundred and thirty five career stolen bases. So he was kind of a he's a all around balanced player and he He's played for the Indians and the Cubs, and he's two-time All-Star in 2013-2015. So, obviously, Jason Kipnis is going to be my favorite player on the Chicago Cubs. I'm not sure if he'll be on the uh, 40-man or the Major League roster this year, but, yeah. Jason Kipnis, my favorite player on the Cubs. My favorite player on the Cincinnati Reds is going to be another former Cleveland Indian and another player, number 27, starting pitcher for the Reds, Trevor Bauer. Now, he was obviously traded this offseason, or not this offseason, this past 2019 MLB season um, for Yasiel Puig, Fenmil Reyes, and a couple of other guys. It was a three-team trade between the Padres, the Reds, and the Indians. So was I happy to see Trevor Bauer go? No. Did I think he was going to go? Yes. I predicted it. Um, sadly, not in a video, but I was like, yeah, Trevor Bauer is going to get traded to the Reds for like Yasiel Puig or something. And you know what? He got traded to the Reds for Yasiel Puig or something, but um, made his debut on June 28, 2012 for the Diamondbacks. He's a career win-loss record of 70-60, and 60, a 404 career ERA, and 1,179 strikeouts. He's played for the Diamondbacks, Indians, and now the Reds, and he was a 2018 All-Star. So obviously, um, uh, Trevor Bowers has, or Trevor Bowers, Trevor Bauer has been great for the Indians um, he did pretty well with the Reds, and how did he get to the Indians? He was acquired in a three-team deal. He went to Cleveland with Matt Albers, Brian Shaw, in exchange for D.D. Gregorius, Tony Sipp, and Lars Anderson. The Indians acquired Drew Stubb in the deal as well. So, obviously, he was traded, and then he was traded to the Reds on July 31st. Um, the Indians acquired Fernando Reyes, Logan Allen, Victor Nova from the Padres, and Yasiel Puig. Um, and also a minor league pitcher by the name of Scott Moss from the Reds. And the Padres acquired Taylor Trammell from the Reds. And uh, Bauer, you know, got traded to the Reds in that trade as well. So obviously Trevor Bauer, he's got one of the best curveballs in the league. Um, he was one of my favorite pitchers. Now my favorite play pitcher on the Indians and player on the Indians is going to be Shane Bieber. So yeah, Trevor Bauer, my favorite player on the Cincinnati Reds. So my favorite player on the Milwaukee Brewers is going to be Keston Hira. Now, why do I like Keston Hira? I seem to like middle infield or second baseman. I don't know. Um, I think Keston Hira is going to be a well-rounded player. He has a 300 career average, 19 career home runs, and 49 career RBIs. And he made his debut on May 14th this season. So, obviously, I think he can do great. I think he's going to work wonders. Obviously, he was a... Um, he played at UC Irvine and... He did great. Obviously, um, you know, the Brewers selected him in the first round, ninth overall, 2017 draft. So, obviously, he had, he was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, uh, Keston Hira, I don't know why I like him. He's from Valencia, California. He's 23. I think I already said that he's young. But, I mean, don't ask me why I like him. I don't know. I seem to like second baseman. Um, he, I don't know. Um, Keston Hira, though, is my favorite player on the Milwaukee Brewers. I don't know. I like. I love the Brewers uniforms this year. Go watch that video. Um, I don't know. He seems to look good in the uniforms. He, 
I love the Brewers uniforms, but that's the topic for another day. Keston Hira, my favorite player on the Milwaukee Brewers. My favorite player on the Pittsburgh Pirates is going to be Josh Bell, the first baseman um, from Irving, Texas. He's 27. Um, I believe he was in my, uh, yeah, he was in my, uh, best draft class ever video. Go check that one out. I don't know. Um, yeah, Josh Bell, he was an all-star th- this year, his first all-star appearance ever. Um, he made his debut on July 8th, 2016, with a 265 career average, 78 career home runs, and a t- and 287 career RBIs. So, obviously, he is a switch hitter, um, and he throws, r- he's a righty, so he's a first baseman, number 55 for the Pirates. And he's such a power hitter, obviously. He was in the home run derby. He can just pull that ball just whew, right over the fence. He's great. I mean, he's not Aaron Judge or John Carlos Stanton or any big, huge Yankees power hitter because they got all of them. Or Pete Alonso, I don't know. Um, but Josh Bell, he if he he maybe lift some weights during the offseason, I don't know. He could. Oh, he can just blast that baseball, and he's only 27, so he's got 10, 5, or like 10 maybe more years ahead of him. And, I mean, if injuries don't stop him, which they haven't yet, he can just be so great. Josh Bell, my favorite player on, on the Pittsburgh Pirates. So my favorite player on the St. Louis Cardinals is Yadier Molina. Now, I know I'm going with the obvious choice, but man, oh my gosh, this guy's been good. Nine-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, nine-time Gold Glove winner. He won a Silver Slugger, and to top it all off, he's a two-time World Baseball Classic team winner. Or he's played in the World Baseball Classic twice. Sorry, and he won a Roberto Clemente Award. So the Roberto Clemente Award is for the person who does the best off the field, who helps people off the field. And it's a very high honor. Anthony, I believe Anthony Rizzo's won one. Andrew McCutcheon's won some. So, obviously, it's a very high honor. And it has nothing to do with baseball. You could be the worst player in the league. But be donating millions and millions of meals to food banks. And you could win it. You know, you don't have to be. Even though these superstars normally win it. You don't have to be a superstar to win the Roberto Clemente Award. It has nothing to do with your play. But some career stats... Through 2019, he has a 282 average, 1,958 hits, 156 career home runs, and 916 career RBIs. And this is all while playing for the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, he made his debut June 3rd, 2004. But the thing is, he's 37. And he's 37. That means catchers normally don't last this long. They normally move to DH or first base. He's still catching. He's still catching, for God's sake. 37 years old, I could see him at 40, switching to an American League team and DHing. I think he could still do it. I could see him switching to an American League team and playing first base. Look at Edwin Encarnacion. So, yeah, I mean, Yadier Molina, last player on this list with some sick Jordan catcher's gear, especially the baby blue pair. But, yeah, final player on today's list, Yadier Molina, my favorite player on the St. Louis Cardinals. We'll do it for today's video, the NL Central and all my favorite players. That includes Jason Kipnis, Trevor Bauer, Keston here, Josh Bell, Yadier, and Molina. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. Oh, and by the way, hit that notification bell. You subscribe, I give you a shout out no matter what. Comment below your notif- you have notifications on. And you know what? I might just pin your comment and... Make you your channel a featured channel. So yeah, stick around. Go check out Tyler's channel, Macer198. I'll put the link in the description. And I normally have one of those white square thingies pop out with his channel on it too. So yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment down below. And I will see you later. Cue the outro, baby.